Hi, this is Andrew Sears, and I'm just going to give you an overview of how this course uh, internship practicum works. So let me just give show you some of the course. You can see that there is the course syllabus, the final project template, and the practicum supervisor evaluation template. So that's actually really important for you to read. Um, the first forum, what you're going to be doing um, in this course is you're going to need to read through those three things and you're going to have to do a couple things. One is describe your learning goals. Um, so there's some learning goals or objectives that are in the course syllabus, but I want to know from you personally, what do you want to learn um, from this time? You need to list at least two books um, and that has to total at least 500 pages. So if you don't get to 500 pages with the two books, you need to get more. And one of the requirements is, for this course is that you're going to have to have a supervisor or a mentor um, that is going to go through and uh, post your suggestions um, on, on your uh, learning goals. Um, and one of the critical things is finding that person. So if you're in a work environment or volunteer environment or ministry environment, then that should just be your supervisor. Um, we, because of the nature of the course, covers both spiritual development and professional development. It's going to help to have that person be a Christian. If you're in a non-Christian environment, then you might see if you could find um, a Christian um, who, who could be your mentor um, through this. It needs to be someone who might be a little farther along in your field and uh, possibly spiritually um, for you too. So that's uh, forum one. Um, then each week you're going to go through and you're going to journal. Now the journal instructions um, essentially is you should be journaling two to three pages. You know you can decide how you want to do it, whether you want to do a daily journal um, or if you want to do every few days. Um, but the idea is there's really going to be two parts of the journal. One is just description. Here's what happened. But then the other is doing some analysis, some application integration. You know, what did you learn? Um, how does this relate to what you've learned in your program? You know, what's God doing in, um, or your work environment um, trying to teach you? So um, that'll be, each of those will be 4% of your final grade. And um, at the end, you're going to total those. Now, I want to go through, there's two key things um, to, to be aware of. One is that there's going to be a supervisor evaluation at the end. Now your supervisor is actually going to be required to log into this system. Um, we can create an account. So um, what you'll need to do is to let us know what your supervisor's uh, email address is and we can create a Moodle account for them. And um, then your supervisor in week eight will fill out this evaluation. And you should be familiar with what's in this evaluation. Um, and you know there's going to be four parts evaluation encouragement recommended spiritual development plan recommended professional development plan so that's what your uh, supervisor or mentor is going to do and then what you have to do is uh, you're going to have a final project so this is the template with instructions there's going to be uh, so your your paper is going to be double spaced um, and here's some of the details on the formatting um, the first part is going to be a literature and or video review, so you should be have one to two double spaced pages per book and one paragraph if, per video if you use videos. Um, then um, the, the second part will be a compilation of your journal, and that's going to be two to three pages per week, so you know around 10 to 12 pages in total. And then your third part really is going to be the meat. This is the primary um, end product for this course. So put a lot of effort into this. It should be at least 15 pages and this is going to be a major paper. So um, you're going to be summarizing what you've learned in this course and you're going to have several sections. And these sections are outlined and I'll show you in the outline. So this is the outline, the, the parts in yellow you should fill in. Um, this is the contents, table of contents. To update that you should right click and then say update field um, once you're done because it'll update the page numbers. And you'll go through and you'll just fill in using this template. So that's chapter one, chapter two of the journal. You can cut and paste. And then chapter three, we have each of these sections. So the introduction. So you describe your areas of work or ministry. Um, and remember, this has to be 15 pages. So if you put one, one line for that one, then you're going to need to do a lot more later. So in most cases, this is going to be, you know, a paragraph or a few paragraphs. 
um, you know, describe your thoughts, feelings, and expectations at the beginning of the course, then go into learning goals, um, then your personal and professional identity, ministry and professional skills, evaluation of relationships. So what you want to do, what's really important is that you actually are aware of what you're going to be writing and as you're journaling be thinking about your answers to your questions. So you can't just cut and paste your journal into these answers. If you do, you're probably going to get a failing grade. Um, the, the difference would be the journal is going to be more like the raw data and then these are going to be more comprehensive reflections over what you learned um, over that period. Um, so anyway, that that's the summary. Let me just show you the, the rest of the course. Um, as you go through, you know, so so there's going to be four periods, um, so eight weeks, and you're going to submit week three and four, um, your journal week five and six, and I suggest, you know, that along the way that you're working on your final project, because if you wait until the very end for your final project, you're probably not going to do well and what you should be doing um, one of the other things I didn't mention is that with your supervisor part of the agreement with your supervisor you can go through what they're gonna do is they're actually going to go and read through this um, they're gonna sign the agreement just by posting on the forum and they'd write their name the, the title of the organization write down the expected number of hours that the, that you're you know basically to verify that you're you know working the hours and then um, in the other forum, they're going to post comments. But what the pers the mentor should do is read the syllabus, re and they need to be reading your assignments, journals, and your final project. They need to be meeting with you biweekly. That's part of the assignment. Um, and they're going to uh, complete this evaluation at the end. So if you can't find a mentor to do that, then honestly, you just can't take this course. So you need to find that mentor. You need to do it by week one. Um, because you're, you have to be meeting with that mentor every other week, um, and you can't, um, you know, be missing significant weeks. So, um, so anyway, with the final project, you'll submit that. Your your mentor is going to upload the mentor evaluation. Your mentor can log into Moodle and see your assignments that you're uploading, um, and. At the end you'll also get a course evaluation survey so if you have questions on this course feel free to email me and um, let me know my email address is at the top of the course thanks a lot bye